Hey guys, M12 here. I'm back and I'm making another video. I'm just going to continue along with the playthrough, but before I do that, I want to show you guys something before I do the next mission. Something that is a pass to do with something you can see on screen. I started out with $440 at the beginning of last episode. I have 3.3 million. Now, most people are probably thinking that I did cheats and whatnot, and well, some people, like myself, like to play legitly, and I want to show you a legit strategy that I found out as to win. Big money. Now, one of the best tools that you can use, just like in Minecraft, which is exit without saving if you play on console, because you can resume your progress if you die, right from where you last saved. And you can go back and get those diamonds you lost in the cave due to creepers or whatnot. Or, in this case, if you lose all your money from betting, you can get it back. Now, the place I'm driving to is this betting place here. You go in here. You hit this. And you bet money, although I'm not going to because, well, I don't need it at the moment. Now, I wonder how much you actually do spend throughout the whole game. I'd say probably somewhere close to five million, I guess. Maybe six. But I'll probably do this until I get at least, like, ten or so. Oh, when I have time. But it takes forever. Th this... A strategy that works, but it takes forever. And there's a guy on my car. Okay, I had to stop to get him off, but uh, it, it literally, I spent most of my time from uh, last time I recorded the video, which was yesterday, until now, getting that. You can't control and influence the race. The only thing that really influences is your luck. But I can't increase my luck because I can't get horseshoes. That's in Los Ventres. And if you go to cities that you have yet to unlock or that are not allowed to be open, because they block the horses apparently. Apparently, for whatever reason, everyone else is allowed to walk around there, but you're not, and they just send SWAT at you with four stars. Despite the fact that you are did nothing wrong and you're pretty much trying to kill an innocent person. For no apparent reason, and, and it was ticking me off when I tried it, but, uh... That's what happens. I could imagine that they have some sort of kill switch that will constantly um, make you, uh, constantly give you four stars in case you try to get rid of it. I would guess. The next part in the mish in the story. Despite the fact that I don't actually need to do that, because I'll show you why. Go and smoke to Emmett's house. Before I do that, I just want to say, if you need a gun for protection, 9mm spawns like right here, this close to your house, along with a shovel behind Ryder's house, which is melee weapon, which I've shown in a previous video. So, I don't know why. Also, something I did is, I want to show you guys, is that if any of you plan to record this yourself, uh, there is possibility that uh, the music on here is, shall we say, copyrighted, or for many other reasons why you can't re record the audio from the radio songs and whatnot. I've turned down radio down to zero. Um, that's an option for anyone else who just does this. I just thought I might want to put that out there. But, but it takes a while for the guns to respawn when they spawn like that, like the one behind the house. 
But now I have like two spots, which I could get like I could go back and forth till I get like a couple hundred more rounds. I'm guessing this is a tutorial on how to use guns, cause... Sure, he spent three shots to take out three targets, and I did three shots to take out three targets, so... I did three shots, three targets. He did three shots per target, and there were three. Can we blow up this car now? Note on certain missions where you have to chase your enemies, it won't work. Like shooting this, or might I add, rocket launchers will not kill your target. Because for whatever reason, they want you to chase them, despite the fact it tells you to kill them. That's kind of hard to do. Free aim. Serving them, if you're, if it's. Question: Why did he move away from uh? Well, I know, but. Sometimes they seem real, but other times there's no choice at all. At least you still talking shit. You ain't changed a bit. Who, me? No, never. Yeah, and I know why. I know why. I don't know why. Yeah. That's what I meant to say. Like, Thanks, CJ. Why hasn't he? Let us smoke. I find it sort of rude that they yell at you for not having the colors on, despite the fact that you're not allowed to buy anything from the store, nor will let you go into the store in the first place until he hollers at you about it. 
If I can afford some things, I'm going to buy several things. That way I can change my clothes if I need to. And have it still be green. Because if you change your appearance, I would assume... Cops would think, oh, you're not the guy we're looking for. Or maybe they would, I don't know. I don't know if that applies to this version. Because I know I've played the Xbox original. So, green hoodie... Green shirt... What's this? Okay, I'll buy that. Okay, so I'm buying that. High top. Green low top. Ooh. Blue. I have to have I have to have blue low tops. I like I like blue shoes. Okay, I'm gonna buy that. Now I'm probably gonna buy another torso. Let me see. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm I'm getting this. Checkered mm, combat now. Uh, shades. <laughs> oh, I gotta see this. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna buy this so that it's in my wardrobe. Oh my god. You can run around with that. You're doing serious business. Some getting into some deep trouble and shit and all this crap. And you're wearing joke goggles. How funny is that? Okay. Ooh. They have woodland and urban camo. I like camo. I like camo patterns. I have camo pants myself in IRL, but I mean... Ooh, I got Oh, I definitely love those. It's technically green, but I want to try the urban ones on. I could always go back to my uh, place. Once you buy stuff, it will be in your wardrobe and you can change it. But if you want to change on the go at a shop, you're, it, they charge you as if you were rebought. They'll charge you the same amount because you're technically buying it right there, despite the fact that you already have one, so... Chains. Definitely dog tags. Thank you. Ooh, okay, watches. I'll go with yellow if I had to choose. I don't like I don't like the color pink color that much. Okay. But now to be serious. Apparently I can have this. Okay, I'll go with this because this looks gangster-like. I'm not sure. I'm not part of an actual gang, so I wouldn't know. This is just a game anyway, so... Whatever I have, as long as it's green, should, shall be fine. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Now I'm gonna go back and save. And now I can work. Now I can roll with Big Smoke or Sweet. And I'll see where this goes. Probably gonna do Sweet first because uh, I've been doing jobs for him first. But before we do that, I just noticed I'm gonna stop and spray this. Because that is 8% done with the tags.
I could drive as well as DJ, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Hey, homie, what's up? Hey, what you saying about me, fool? What's up, man? I'm saying that the East Coast makes you drive like an idiot, fool. Man, you're always crashing cars and shit. And for, and some, for some reason, now you're back. All it is is DJ dry here, it's DJ dry there. Bullshit. Man, why don't you just take it easy? I can drive better than you. Just can it. Uh, the funny thing is, is that to pass certain missions, to unlock certain missions, and to unlock a certain assets. Well, like certain stuff, they're like I feel like there's certain missions that you can't quite do unless you have good skills, high skills in certain areas such as muscle stamina, which are as long as they're high but not at they're not required to be at max. But um, I'm gonna keep uh, stamina at max and pretty much run everywhere I go on everywhere I go on foot. I'm gonna run. And everywhere I, uh, and I don't have to keep muscle at max, and I don't have to worry about having the glitch where I can't work out. I don't. We'll take care of the shooting. I'm so tempted to get out and take their ammo. Apparently that green house marker means I could buy it, but I don't think I can do that in the middle of a mission. Figure out where to go. They're in a tunnel. So they pretty much just set them out, set themselves up to being ran over. Two stars. One star is like nothing. One cop comes after you and doesn't fire at you unless you have a firearm or a gun in your hand. So I'm just gonna go through... I'm just gonna go through here, then go to the pan spray and get rid of the other star. Unless I miraculously get the star again. For no reason. And it doesn't and that would seem something like the game would do. And yeah! Doing nothing and I just got a second star again. Okay. This time it's three. I mean, I could definitely more than afford the. If you commit a crime like within a few minutes of a. Uh, well, while it's while the stars are blinking, you it will go back up again. I had lots of kills, and I didn't even fire a bullet. Your car is like a two-ton uh, weapon itself. So watch yourself for now, on CJ. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know that. I'll see y'all later. Yeah, take this. Go get yourself some beers. Okay. Well, that mission's done. Now 
Okay. Let me actually, I'm gonna save again. But uh, I have my wardrobe up here. But I'm going to grab some more of this spray stuff. Because who knows, I may need it. And then I'm gonna save. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video off here. If you guys have any comments, questions, feedback, please leave it for me in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys later in the next video.